Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist here with the final member of the animated Hailstorm foursome. It's Blur! He's fast and he's a blue car. Let's get a better look at him. Blur's alt mode is a very futuristic, uber-sleek sports car. He appeared in Transformers Animated as a mysterious car at first, but uh, soon became the Blur we all know and love. I really do like things like the hollowness through the wheels. That's a cool touch. You can see right here. And they're just really sleek lions all over this toy. He also has a hilarious feature, which is a front-mounted chainsaw. So if he was ever driving along and decided to try to turn and skid through someone's ankle, uh, he could pull it off. Usually, though, I like to just leave that in there because I think it looks incredibly silly. Not to mention that he also has to go up on two wheels to even pop it out. But, you know, if chainsaws are your thing, then I suppose this could do it for you. Blur's transformation is pretty nuts, though, I've got to say. It's uh, slightly parts-formery, it's very things moving past other things, and um, I think just a few little changes would have made it a lot cooler, but I still do greatly enjoy the process as it happens. Um, I also like how trans-tech style his feet are with the, the wheel ankles that you can see straight through, and it's very speedster-esque, and I gotta give it points. Also, if you don't flip these around, you've got another excellent car walk mode, something that I neglected to point out on several Revenge of the Fallen toys. If you guys really want me to do a video about these, um, I could do that, but anyway, to continue this on, uh, the part where the parts forming starts happening is after you start doing this whole deal of swapping the positions of his arms and legs, which is in and of itself a very intricate bit of transformation. I'm quite impressed by the engineering on this. Um, the thing is, this part flips over, and then you just have to remove his chainsaw weapon and stick it on the pegs back here. I think that if this wasn't meant to be another weapon, this hood could have just folded up. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. I would have preferred that, because I think as a weapon it's a little bit weak. And here you have horrific yoga form blur for when he wants to smell his own chest. I don't know. Anyway, the legs do this kind of interesting fold and then fold around and fold in and of itself to fold again while folding. Little technique. And you get a chainsaw falling off his back. Another reason why I don't really like the chainsaw all that much is that I find it tends to fall off at extremely inopportune moments. I also find it looks really weird when he's holding it, and just overall, that's the one part of this toy I'm not really into, is the chainsaw. I know some people are, though, and um, I guess if it, was, if it was transparent orange, I would have been into a little bit more. But as it is, it's, hmm, I don't know, docking of one Vangelis brownie point for this toy. Oh, ho, 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 I named the points after myself. Ha! Ah. Anyway, after that experience, you have Blur, and his body lines, uh are so nice and animated style, it's just inspiring. He's really a gorgeous model, and I, I love the design of this guy. Everything about him is just so sleek and curvy and deliciously animated. I really gotta say that... Oh man, what's up with the power today? Are we back? Alright. Anyway, Blur's articulation is uh, pretty nice in the legs. He can strike all kinds of decent poses, and due to his ball-jointed uh, heels and toes, he can go pretty wide-legged, which is something I greatly enjoy. Uh, sadly, though, his arms are a little limited. The shoulder ball joints are there, and you can't really expect too much out of them, but they don't go outward quite as much as one might want them to. I still think they're pretty fine, though. Uh, and his bicep swivels, uh, there's this kind of a cut line here, and that might not work for some people, but I think it breaks up his look just enough without losing that nice animated smooth lion's design. Uh, I think if I was going to say there was one thing I wish was here, it would be a thigh swivel. I think that would have completed Blur quite well. Also, just to illustrate what I mean about the weapon, you quite literally stick it onto his knuckle, like this, and now he has a chainsaw. And uh, <laughs> it it works, it's a melee weapon, it, it's a thin melee weapon, so I guess it's pretty cool for sleek, speedy fighting styles, but... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't do it for me very much. I, I'd, 
I, I know that a, that a, a weapon is something that's kind of important, but I wish it was something else. I don't hate it, but it's definitely not something I'm excited about. To move on to some of Blur's other details... Oh, what, again? Come on! Alright, we're back. Anyway, Blur's details on his face are something I quite like. Overall, it does capture the animation model as much as I would have liked. And I really do like his kind of hollow and thin cheekbones under the helmet. It's, uh... Quite pretty. So, on the whole, I've got to say Blur is quite a winner outside of his weapon. Um, the chainsaw really is the only knock I have against the figure, and... Eh, you know, I can get over it. I wish it was something else, but it's not enough to ruin it for me, especially when this guy does so many other things right. Really, the only negatives I can point out would be the chainsaw and the limited shoulder articulation. Outside of that, and perhaps his balance, if you're, uh, having a bad day with a slick table... His uh, overall playability, fun factor, and aesthetic make him quite a winner in the animated line as far as I'm concerned. So I would very much recommend this guy, um, especially if you enjoyed his portrayal in Transformers Animated, although it's a shame that uh, they decided to write him out of Season 3. I mean, uh, we all know that he must have survived that encounter with whoever the mysterious person was that... that destroyed him. All I know is that I saw that the Noble Longarm Prime had found him as in cube form, and uh, I didn't really catch everything that was going on. I had no sound, and, you know, I was walking away from the TV now and then, but uh, clearly, as you can see, the, these two friends have gotten back together, and uh, it's clear that Blur is okay, and in safe hands. Anyway... Oh, that's it! I'm gonna go and get that friggin'... Where's the circuit breaker? It's over here somewhere. Huh, that's weird. I can't find Blur anywhere. Well, anyway, this uh, Shockwave, I guess, can stand in for him. I just wanted to thank uh, Hailstorm again for the four toys. Uh, I know it's taken me a really long time to get around to doing these videos, and I do apologize for that, but it's much appreciated. Many thanks again. And this has been Internet Personality Evangelist. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope that you've enjoyed this last shot of Animated's final deluxe wave for now. And I do want to return to a lot of the animated toys I've missed. I hope that perhaps I'll find inspiration in, I don't know, perhaps Hot Rod or RC or Fugitive Waspinator, for that matter. Looking forward to when those come out. So in the meantime, uh, stay tuned for more. There will always be Evangelist Review on the horizon.